Now take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. One more, just like that. Breathe in, stretch. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Seal your lips, breathe in and out through your nose. We'll take a moment right here to allow your body to sink into the moment, sink into the space. And set an intention to be present through the practice. As the challenge arises, Make your way to down dog. Now pedal it out, sway your hips, shake your head. Get still, at least a little bend your knees, reach your hips up and back, relax your head, send your shoulder blades onto your back. A look forward, step forward to the top of your mat. Ragdoll, forward fold. Feet hip width distance, grab your opposite elbow, let your torso be heavy, arms heavy, head heavy, sway or hold still. A little bit of hang before the work. You will feel, especially here, the lack of effort in your upper body. Let your shoulder blades draw towards your ears. Step your feet together to touch. Lift halfway, press your hands into your legs or the floor, send your shoulders back, extend your chest forward, lengthen to the top of your head, grab your legs, forward fold, active variation. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, pull down. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Pause in it. Spread your fingers wide. Press your hands like they're going to go through the floor. Reach your heels back and create a pull. Like you pull your hands to your feet, pull your feet towards your hands. Broaden your chest forward. Now shift forward your tippy toes. Bend your elbows lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Broaden your chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Warm the body, warm the breath. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms, pause. Face your palms down, draw your shoulder blades onto your back. Get more depth in your legs, bend your knees. And as you bend your knees, allow your hips to go back. So your spine is still neutral. Inhale, chair, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Keep warming the breath, the body. Inhale, upward facing dog with a little more complex movements. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep going, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. High plank pose. Hold it. High plank pose. Press your hands into the floor. Create the pull. Hands back, feet forward. Broaden your chest forward. Pull your belly in. Hold. Breathe. Lower your right knee down. Side forearm plank. Lift your left arm high, or side plank rather. Left arm high. Lift your left leg, so right knee down. Press through your left foot. Extend up through your left arm. Hold, four, three, two, one. Three-legged plank, hands down. Right toe, left toes curl under. Right leg, send it back. Hold, belly strong. Feel the pull of your left foot forward towards your hands. Lower your left knee down. Side plank, right arm lifts, right leg in the air. Lift up out of your left shoulder, so there's a lot of space between your shoulder and your left ear. Press through your right foot, so your right leg is lifting, active in the lifting of it. Extend up through your right arm, hold, four, breathe, three, two, one. Right hand down, right toes curl under, left leg lifts. Three-legged plank, hold it, hands press, feel the pull. Right foot forward towards your hands. Now lift your right arm. Right arm, left leg hovers, hold, breathe. Right shoulder onto your back, hold four, three, two, one. Switch, right hand down, left foot down, right leg lifts, left arm lifts, hold. Shoulders onto your back, breathe. Create a pull, right hand towards your left foot, left foot towards your right hand, hold four, three, two, one. Both hands down, breathe in. Exhale, down dog. Step your feet forward. Grab your weights. Rise, stand, squats. So you'll set up. Toes point forward, knees point forward, feet hip width distance. Arms are weights down at your body. Draw your shoulder blades onto your back. So pause upright and feel your spine long, your chest broad. Feet pressing firm into the floor. And here we go. It's down, lift up, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Keep going. So as you add the movement, feel that strong foundation that you started with. A broad chest, shoulders back. Open up, exhale as you lift up. Press evenly into your feet. So if you notice you're kind of leaning back into your heels, press down, especially through the ball mounds of your feet, and vice versa. If you notice you're kind of heavy on your toes, root into your heels. Last four, three, two, one. Get low and hold it. Hold it. Press through your feet, draw your shoulders back. Heavy weights at your sides, or if it's better for your back, press the weights or hands together at heart center. Hold here and pulse. 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 Shoulders back, broad chest. Last four. Three, two, one. Weights down, hold. Belly strong. It's down, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift, keep going. So, especially with class today, 45 minutes, 
a little bit shorter. It could be a little bit longer than you used to, depending on where you're coming from. Open up the tail as you rise. We'll focus in on the repetition. And often in a yoga class or in a sculpt yoga class, we rely on the repetition. And what's powerful about it is you can hone in onto how your body is experiencing the pose, how your body is experiencing the move. Last four, three, two, one. Get low and hold, hold, hold. Weights to chest or keep your hands at your sides. Either way, shoulders draw back, belly strong, pulses, pulse. Pulse, 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 keep pulsing, pulse, pulse. Last four, even weight in your feet, last two. One, weight's down, it's down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, keep going. And what's powerful with yoga, the combination of yoga, yoga is the framework, is yoga teaches us to connect in with the present. Where so often it's like there's this inclination to turn away from the challenge, the sensation, get right in there. Last four, three, two, one. Get low and hold. Waist to chest or hands stay at your sides, broad into your chest. Hold it for three, a little more depth, two, one. Stand up, leave your weights down. We have cardio. We're gonna go through four exercises two times. It'll be jump squats, in and out, football runners, and then jumping jacks. So start out just moving a little side to side. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. So the aim with this, with this sequence, this section, is to get the heart elevated and to dig into the challenge. Okay, so we're gonna go rapidly through all four and then we'll pause and then do it again. So shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Jump squats. I'll show you the options as we're moving through. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. It's down and up, down, up, heels lift, or you jump off the floor. Open up, exhale. Straight up, straight down. And even without the burpee, which we sometimes add here, just simply jump squat, straight up, straight down. So you're emphasizing the legs. Last four, three, two, one. Stand up, out and in. It's out, in, out, in. You could go one leg at a time or both. So you can have the jump or not. And it doesn't matter how you do it, you keep it moving. As you pull your elbows back, feel that squeeze on your back line. Soft landing, knees low, legs low, four, three, two, one, footballs, feet go fast. Sway your arms if you like the added movement. Bend your knees. Add a little up and down. Stay low. Feet go as fast as you got. Open off exhales. Even through this, feel your chest broad. Last four. Three. Two. One. Jacks out and in. And you can go one leg or both. If you want to add the plyometric, you use start jumps. Whatever your variation, chest broad, head up, soft landing. Feel the energy, it's out and in. You got it, you got it. Dig into it. Last four, three, two, one. Up, shake it out. Keep it moving, shake it out. Another round. Jump squats in four, three, two, one. Down and up. See if you can get some more air. 
Like get off the floor, even if it's simply your heels. Drive your heels up. Last four, three, two, one. Out and in, out, in, out, in, out, in. One foot or both feet at a time. Hold the depth of your legs. Chest up, head up. Squeeze the elbows back. Yeah, you got it. Last four. Three, two, one. Footballs, fast feet. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Arms are not fast feet, fast feet. Bend your knees. You got it, you got it. Go. Dig. Faster. Lower. Chest up, head up. Last four. Three, two, one. Jacks out and in. One foot, or both, or the star. You got it. Chest up, chest up, head up. Keep breathing. Soft landing. Last four. Three. Last two. One. Up, shake it out. Plank side to side, shake out your arms. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay, to the back of your mat, small circles forward. Step forward. So we're going to keep moving after recovery. Reverse your circles. Use your breath to soften the heart rate. Feel your chest up and broad. Last four, three, two, one. Make your way to the top of your mat. Weights in hand, chair pose. So we're starting on the left. So I'm just getting my head straight on the left. Knees bend, triceps, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Then extend, keep going. Open up, exhale. As you extend the weights past your body. Emphasize that extension, keep going. I'm just gonna talk you through a couple things to look out for. So feel out. If your weights are coming all the way to your shoulder, if your hands are coming all the way to your shoulder, this part of the movement from shoulder to that 90 degree bend is simply adding momentum. You wanna emphasize the extension. So only bend to 90 and extend. Other thing is, if your wrists are moving a lot, Lock in your wrist so that movement comes from the elbow. Last four, three, two, hold it back. On one, hold it back, pulse it in. Pulse, 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 pulse. Last four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, right foot steps back. Right foot steps back. Lunges with the bicep, palms face forward. It's down, curl, down, curl, down, curl, down, curl, down, curl. Now you could do just the legs, you could do just the biceps. However, you're moving, notice if your chest is coming forward. That could put some strain on your low back. It also takes the work out of your bicep muscles. Keep your elbows really still, chest up. And as you're lunging, feel your right knee draw straight down. Four, three, two, one. Bend your right knee, elbows at halfway. Hold it low, shoulders back, so it's a smaller move, and you're just pulsing the elbows. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep pulsing, feel into your legs. Right knee a little bit lower. Left knee, left toes point forward. Belly strong, pulse, pulse. Last four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, triceps. Bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Feel it, only bend to 90. Emphasize the extension. 
And I mean, not like we're going to measure the bend of your elbows. So think about, emphasize getting your weight to your hands past your hips. Last four, three, two, hold it back on one, pulse it in, 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 pulse. Pulse, and that's exactly what the pulse creates. So get the weights, get your hands, past your hips to pulse. Extend your elbows all the way. Last four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, right foot back, lunges with the bicep, palms face forward. It's down, curl, down, curl, down, lift. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale as you lift, whether it's just the legs, just the weights, Feel left knee, left toes point forward. Shoulders back. Last four, three, two, one. Bend your right knee, bend your elbows. Hold it. Simply hold. Now bring your elbows a little bit forward and wide. Shoulders back. Hold. Four. A little more depth in your right leg. Three, two, one. One, straighten through your right leg, lean forward, wide back ropes, palms face back, down, pull, down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. Keep going. You could take one arm, you could lower your right knee, keep moving in, keep pulling back, and feel your right elbow, or both elbows rather, pull straight back. Notice if there's this change in the wrist. It's not like starting a motorcycle. I don't really know how to do that, but that's what I think about, like wrist move. It's not a wrist move. It's simply heavy in the hand or heavy in the weight. The elbow moves, and it's moved by the shoulder blades drawing onto the back. So it's really a back row. You're working your back. Last four, three, two, hold it back. On one, hold it back. Elbows high, draw your shoulder blades back. Feel your chest broad, and then feel this light grip in your hands and your weights. Wrists are neutral. Pulse, elbows, pulse, 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 pulse. Last four, three, two, one. Down, pull, down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. Down, pull. Broad chest, <sighs> elbows wide. Feel it on your back line. Last four, three, two, one. Pull it back, hold it back. More depth in your left leg, hold, belly strong, hold. Lighten your wrists, light grip on the weights with your hands. Shoulders draw back, feel your chest broad, hold four. Three, two, one, warrior two, open. Warrior two, open. Wait to your hips. Wait to your hips. All right, we're going to take lawnmower. So one weight in the right hand, or if you can hold it, two weights in your right hand. Left elbow to left thigh. Right hand with the weights goes down, right elbow high. Down, right elbow high. Down, pull. Down, pull. Keep going. So a couple of things. What you want to do is keep your chest still. It's just the arm that's moving. Elbow goes high, weight or hand draws past the body. So it's not hand really far away from the body. Now, if you want to add some challenge, some stability challenge, lift off your left elbow. Last four, three, two, one. Lift your torso up, a weight in each hand, horse pose. Heels in, toes out, bend your knees. Rock your hips a little side to side. Hips a little side to side. All right, so work in the arms, so work in the back. Half lap pulse, palms face forward. It's out, pull your elbows behind you. Out, pull in, option out the legs. Out and down, squeeze and stand. And the action of the last. Imagine you're gripping a handle on the ceiling and you're pulling your body off the floor. Yep, you got it. Last four, three, two, 
One, bend your knees, weights to heart center, or hands to heart center, press the weights together. Now we're gonna go side to side. So pulse to the front, front, then to the right, right. Pulse left, left, right, right. Keep going, left. Pulse, right. Pulse, so the action of this is your inner thigh stabilizing line. So you wanna draw your heels towards each other, almost as if you're going to crumple up your mat underneath you. So externally, you could totally do this without a ton of activation. So bring in that awareness, that squeeze of the heels like they're driving together. Last four, three, two, one. Back to center, back to center. Lift your heels, bring the weights or hands forward. Lift your chest, shoulders back. Hold it, a little more. Depth in your legs, hold it, four. Three, two, one, heels down, half that pulls, arms out, pull in, out, in, out of the legs, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Last four, broad chest, three, two, one. Bend the knees, weights to chest or hands at heart center. To the left, left, to the right, right, left, right, left, right. Keep going. So now, as you continue this, you continue this activation of the inner thigh line, feel like the inner thighs are what's moving you, driving you side to side, chest up. Last four. Three, two, one, center. Bend your knees further, lift your heels. Chest up, press the weights together, press the hands together. Bring them farther from the body. Keep breathing. Keep bending into your knees. Yes, yes, last four. Three, two, one. Heels down, rise to stand. We got it. push ups. So weights come down, come down to your knees. Hands, at least as wide as your mat, from your toes or from your knees. Here we go. It's lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower, lift. Keep going. Open mouth, exhale as you lift. Now feel this pull of your feet or your knees forward towards your hands. Lengthen the back of your neck. So if you're looking down towards your legs, your head will be a little bit low. Gaze forward. Your head kind of follows your gaze. Last four, three, two, one. Then your elbows, hold it low. Simply hold, feel that pull of your core line. Hold four, three, two, one. Rise to stand. Biceps, hammer style, palms face in. It's down, curl, down, curl, down, curl, down, curl. Now option, especially if that motion of your chest coming forward, right? So keep your torso really still. It's just the change of the elbows. Lift your feet off the floor. So you might notice, especially if you have that sway, that'll be a strong tell. <sighs> Last four. Three, belly strong. Two, chest broad. One, elbows at halfway. We're gonna go out, in, out, in. Last four, three, two, one. Weights down, push ups again. Here we go. It's lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Lower, lift, keep going. Simple move, simple, not easy. Broad chest, long through your neck. Gaze past the top edge of your mat. Open up, exhale on the lift. Last four, three, two, one. Bend your elbows, lower halfway hold. Elbows draw back, shoulders draw back. Feel that pull of your feet or your knees towards your hands. Hold four, three, 
two, one, to your knees, triceps overhead, weights together, bend your elbows, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. And you can keep the weights together, or hands together, or separate your weights. That'll target the individual arms a little bit more. Target a little bit more stability. Belly strong. Open up the tail as you extend. Yes. Working for, aiming for muscle fatigue. So if you reach that point where you're like, ah, I don't know how many more I can do. Celebrate. That's where we're going. Last four. Belly strong. Last three. Two. One, bend your elbows. And when I say celebrate, I say keep going too. Pulse four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, rise up to stand. Rise up to stand. Okay, okie dokie, we got the right side. Weights together. I know we're going straight for it. Triceps, right back into it. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Whew. Extend. Keep going. You can take one arm at a time. You can go no weights. It's amazing. I don't know if you guys feel this, but just that transition from the different orientation of the arm. So you just did overhead triceps and not going to extensions. It targets the muscles in a new way. Go four, three, two. Hold it back. One, hold it back. Pulse it up. Pulse, 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 pulse. Bend your knees. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, last four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, left foot steps back. Lunges, biceps, hammer style, palms face in. It's down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Keep going. And again, you could take just the arms. You could take one arm at a time. Keep going. So keep going. A couple of things, right? So feel out. Right knee is pointing straight forward. And your left knee draws straight down. It's like there's a weight right at your left knee to draw it down. And then you lift up. Feel your chest draw. Torso upright. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Last four. Three. Two. One. Bend your knees. Bend your elbows. Feel that, check it, right knee pointing forward, small pulses with the elbows, pulse, 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 a little bit more depth in your left leg, pulse, pulse, chest broad, pulse, pulse, last four, three, two, one, left foot forward, triceps, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, then extend. So feel out a shorter round. Feel out each extension on purpose. The wrists are extended. You're focusing on getting your weight to your hands past your body. Last four, three, broaden your chest. Two, hold it back. One, hold it back. Pulse up. Pulse. Pulse. Feel it. Wrists extended. Elbows extended. Last four, three, two, one. Weights to chest. Left foot back. Biceps, palms face forward. It's down, curl, down, curl, down, curl, down, curl, down, curl. Feel all the stability pieces. There's a lot changing. There's a lot moving in the pose. Feel into what's staying still, especially your gaze because it's a big balance challenge. So steady gaze, that'll help. Last four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, bend your elbows. Now bring your elbows, your weights rather out wider. And we're gonna go out wide, pull in. Out wide, pull. Out, pull. Out, pull. Out, pull. Right knee points forward, broad chest. Feel everything that stays solid, stays stable. Last four, three, two, one. Lean forward. Narrow back rows, palms face in. It's down, pull, down, pull, down, 
pull. And you could take one weight at a time, one arm at a time. You can lower your back knee. Feel it. Dig in there, right into the sensation. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Feel your chest broad, lengthen the back of your neck, even like a slight tuck of the chin to feel that extension through your neck. Last four, three, two, one. Now weight right where they are, elbows squeeze in, hold it, reach your chest forward. Ooh, yeah, hold it, hold it, hold, four, three, two, one. Again, down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. So you add challenge to your right leg, your right glute, by reaching your chest forward, by hinging more at your right hip. Last four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it. A little more depth in the hinge at your right hip. Reach through your left heel, hold it. Four, last three, two, one. Open warrior two. Whew. Okie dokie. One weight in your left hand, or if you can grip it, two weights in your left hand, depending on what your weights are. Right elbow to right knee. Left arm down, half line more. Pull up, down, pull. Down, pull, down, pull, keep going. So notice, as you pull, there isn't much lateral movement with your weight or with your hand. It's an up and down, up and down. And then same thing with your chest. Your chest will stay pretty solid. It'll create some more stability for yourself by pressing through the outside edge of your left foot. Open up the tail as you pull it up. And if you want, add more stability challenge, you hover off your right leg. You got it, you got it, broad chest. And notice if your shoulder blades are coming in, shoulder blades back and on your body, stable on your back line. Last four, three, two, one. Weight in each hand, horse pose. Heels in, toes out, bend your knees. Rock it out, a little side to side. So we'll work the side body. Two weights in your right hand, or one weight in your right hand. Weights behind your right hip. We're gonna go down to the right, up to center. Down to the right, up. Down, up. Down, up. So it, it kind of varies. You might feel this more on your left side. You might feel it more on your right side. Definitely, the right and the left have to change in order to allow the movement to happen. So that's perfect. Where you feel it's perfect. Feel out, chest points forward, shoulder blades on your back. Last four, three, two, one. Hold it right, pulse, 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 pulse. Now feel right arm straight down, chest forward, shoulder blades on your back. Last four. Three, two, one. Draw to center, a weight in each hand. Or if you're down to one weight, press the weights together, or press the weight together between your hands. Lift your heels, hold it. Shoulders back, more bend in your knees. Yes, hold for three, two, one. Heels down, keep bending the legs. Weights in each, both weights in your left hand. Left hand, weights behind your left hip. We're gonna go to the left, up, back, up, to the left, up. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale as you pull it up. <sighs> and connect in with where this move creates sensation in your body. So it, yours doesn't have to be here by any means. But I feel it on this side, like right in my low right side body. And the thing about feeling it, right, is that one of the tenets of yoga, one of the things that we take from yoga in this style, this format of like connect in where the sensation is. Name it rather than turn away from it and ignore it. Last four, more depth in your legs. Three, keep breathing. Two, one, hold it to the left. 
pulse, 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 pulse. Last four, three, chest forward, two, one, back to center, weight in each hand, or the weight pressed together between your hands, press. Shoulders back, lift your heels, bend your knees. You got it, go four, three, two, one. Heels down, straighten your legs, step your feet together. Roll onto your back. With the weights, we're gonna keep working the upper body and add in some glute activation. Some more glute activation, that is. They're such powerful muscles. They can work all the time. Put your toes and your knees forward. Bridge lifts, weights in hands. Start with your weights on your hips, your hands on your hips. But simply hold it with your hips hovering. And so that means you're weighting your feet, shove your shoulder blades underneath you, pull your belly in. It's hover, lift straight up. Hover, lift. Hover, lift. Hover, lift. Keep going. Now, keep moving the hips. Extend your arms with or without the weight straight up. And add the fly. So arms open, squeeze. Open, squeeze. I'm gonna reverse it. So on the lower, lower your elbows, lower your hips at the same time. So the exhale, the lift, is your hips lifting and drawing your weights or your hands towards each other. As you hover, you bring your elbows simply to a hover. Toes and knees point forward. So the glutes, the glutes drive the hips up. They are hip extens extensors. The glutes are also external rotators. So what you want to avoid is that external rotation in your hips. So if you notice your knees are kind of going out wide or your toes are pointing out, that could cause a little bit more compression in your low back. So point your knees and your toes forward. And what helps me is to create a bit of a squeeze of the knees towards each other, especially at the top. Last four. Three, hold it up, and two, one, hold it up, hips high, feel it out, toes and knees point forward, perhaps a bit of a squeeze of your knees towards each other, open your elbows wide, hover your elbows off the floor, hold the arms wide, pulse the hips, pulse, 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 last, four, three, two, hold it up, one, hold it up. Hold it up, really strong. Whole range of motion, we're gonna change the arms to triceps. So, weights overhead. You'll bend your elbows, lower your hips. Extend your elbows, lift your hips. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Also known as skull crushers, so just don't drop your weights or your bottles, whatever you're holding overhead. And if you want a little bit more stability, a little bit more target in each arm, separate your weights or your hands. Keep your elbows still rather than drawing your elbows back. So just the weights of the hands go back. Last four, three, two, hold it up on one. Hold it up, hips high, elbows bend, pulse the elbows, hold the hips, pulse, pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. Last four, three, two, one. Hips down, weights down. Knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. Stretch the outer right hip, figure four. Right ankle over left thigh. Pull your knee in, stretch your outer right glute, your right thigh. Hold still or rock it side to side. And you're in the midst of experiencing that drastic transition from effort, 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 now to releasing the effort. And there's power in being able to transition like that. Take the twist, simply drop your legs over to the left, Plant your right foot down, left hand grabs your right ankle. Reach your right arm out wide. So part of what you're building in, 
in this class and yoga classes is this brain muscle connection. And it's that brain and muscle connection that allows you to, for example, fire up your tricep muscles when you're working tricep extensions. And it's that same connection that allows you to move into the release of the effort so that you aren't overusing it. Draw back to center, other leg, left ankle over right thigh, pull your knee in, stretch your outer left hip, left glute, rock it side to side or hold still. Relax your right foot. Notice where you're holding on to tension still or holding on to effort still. Let's see if you can soften. We'll take the twist. Left foot plants, right ankle grabs, or rather right hand grabs your left ankle. Reach your left arm out. Allow your breath to lengthen. And a sigh, like an exhale sigh, can be a great tool to support that release. You sigh out the effort. Hug your knees into your chest. And we'll finish together seated. So rock a little side to side and rock forward and back. Make your way to a tall seat. <clears throat> can be cross-legged or you can sit kneeling. And sit up tall, close your eyes, bring your hands to your thighs. Now feel your spine upright. We'll take a couple of diaphragmatic breaths. So the diaphragm is this muscle on the bottom of your rib cage. When you breathe in, it draws down. When you breathe out, it draws up. So it brings some softness into your belly to allow that. Breathe in, diaphragm draws down. Breathe out, diaphragm lifts. A couple more, breathe in. Breathe out. Keep going, so you allow this movement in your belly, you allow this movement in your rib cage. You can bring your hands to your ribs, your belly, or your back line to bring emphasis to that allowing. Two more. Keep breathing with the diaphragm. Bring your hands together, heart center. Acknowledge your practice, your intention, your commitment to the effort, to the moment. Lift your thumbs to the center of your forehead. Honor the light and teacher in all things and all experiences. Namaste.